Now in this video of history.net we are going to discuss a very important concept of client based state management that is cookies. Basically cookie is nothing but a text file that we stored somewhere in a hard drive of a client machine. So whenever a user comes to the website the same website next time the website can read the information from that particular cookie. A very good example of this is Suppose whenever you are doing a login in a particular website, you will find a keep me logged in or remember me kind of checkbox in the below. So if you check that, the username and password will get stored in an encrypted way inside the cookies so that next time when you will visit the same website, you will not have to do the login again. The username and password will be read from the cookies directly and it will be authenticated and then you will be able to work in that particular website. So the cookies will store the data according for a web, for a web application not for a specific page like hidden field and view state which we have already covered were associated for a single page itself. The values were not be able to pass in another page but by working with cookies you can read the values of cookie in any particular page of the website as it is associated for a specific website. So we can actually classify the cookies in two parts that is the session cookie and persistent cookie. Session cookie is something which is generated by the web server on a client's machine as far as a session is going on. This particular cookie will store the session ID inside it. While working with sessions, we will definitely discuss more about this session cookie and we will discuss what if session will not use the cookie for itself. And another one is the persistent cookie which will be having a lifetime. For creating a persistent cookie, we, will, we have to give the expiration time of that particular cookie and until that particular time comes, the cookie will be existing in the client's machine and can be read by the web application. So by default when you create a cookie it will be a session cookie and if you will give the uh, expiration time for the same cookie it will become the persistent cookie. So let's have a very simple implementation of the cookies where we can store a single value or multiple values inside it. So let's see it practically. So now for implementing the cookies, I have taken a text box and a button and whatever I'll write in this text box, I'll try to store that in the cookie as soon as I'll click the button. So let's click on the button and here in the description, in the definition of it, I will write the cookie code like for that I will use HTTP cookie class which I'll get in system.web namespace. So HTTP cookie, let's create an instance of it like cookie is equal to new cookie. As we know this object can be used inside this method itself but if I want to get the details of this cookie from this page or from any other page of this website then I will have to get a name and that name will be passed right here like my cookie. So whenever I will say my cookie I will be approaching this cookie from the client's machine. Now if I want to store any particular value out here so I will use cookie.value and here I will store the value of the text box as I have already taken. As I said in the description earlier that the cookie will be by default a session cookie unless I assign any expiration time. So for that I will say cookie.expiry is equal to datetime dot now dot add now I can add days, add months, add years, anything out here. For this implementation I'll start with add seconds and I'll add 30 seconds out here. So once my cookie is created till 30 seconds it will be on the client's machine and can be read by my application. After 30 seconds it will be expired automatically and the value which it will contain will be the value of the text box. So here I am just showing you how to store a single value in a cookie. Later I will of course do the multiple values storage as well in the cookies. So once you have set it all, what I will do is I will write response because I am writing the cookie now. I will use response object 
response dot cookies dot add and here I'll pass the object cookie as soon as I'll do that one text file of a cookie for a particular browser will be stored in the specific location of the cookie for that browser now I can redirect to any other page so for that response dot redirect and I'll add a page default dot ASPX after that and let's add that now so coming here in the solution explorer I will add one web form with the name default.aspx and right here in the page load event I'll say request dot cookies and here I can pass the name of the cookie the name which I set is my cookie and I can store the value in a string variable because it will be a string type value so string str1 is equal to whatever is there in that cookie dot value and now I can print the value by using response dot write str1 since it's a single value so I can easily read it by value property now let's execute it and when I'll click on submit it will take me to default.aspx and here I got the text tutorials now let's do one more thing in default.aspx I'll put a button on clicking which I will re-execute that code let's put this code under the condition which I will execute only in the first page load so now I'll re-execute it I'll enter the text tutorials point I'll submit it here you can read it here like it got printed and when I will click the button since 30 seconds are not over yet I can read the value from the cookie and once 30 seconds are over and when I click the button it is going to give me an exception because cookie is actually not available at the particular location and it is giving me the null reference exception because of the absence of the cookie so this is how your expiry time will work for the persistent cookie if you will not set the expiry time by default it will be the session cookie and as soon as you will close the browser it will be get out of the system now let's do the implementation for storing the multiple values for that I'll take a couple of text boxes you can store as many as value so here I'm taking a text box 2 and now on the button click I'll store both the values in the cookie for that rather than going for the proper uh, property called value I'll add a key with the name val1 and in this val1 I'll store the value of text box 1 similarly I'll create another key for the same cookie val2 and here I'll store the value of text box 2 similarly you can pass as many as keys here and then once you'll click on the button the values will be stored in the cookie for 30 seconds and here in default.aspx where I'm reading this I'll do that in a very same way for val1 as well as for val2 and then I'll read the value in both the events like in page load as well as on the button click so let's execute it now in text box 1 I'm writing tutorials in text box 2 I'll write point and now when I'll submit it it will show me both the values right here even when I'll click the button within 30 seconds but after that it will be vanished now if I want to delete the cookie explicitly through my code then let's see how can I do that for that I'll use another button here in which I'll write remove cookie and this is the button where uh, clicking on which I am performing the read operation so what I'll have to do first of all I'll have to get the cookie for that I'll use HTTP cookie class again so HTTP cookie is equal to request first of all I'll have to get the same cookie again request.cookies the name of the cookie is my cookie and then for this I'll use the expires property and will assign something which is negative for example 
date time dot now dot add anything hours milliseconds or whatever but in negative value any negative value and as soon as you will say response dot cookies dot add it will remove the cookie instantly so let's execute and check so again with the same value I am submitting it here I can get the values from the cookie I am clicking the read I can read it as soon as I'll click on remove cookie and now when I'll click on read the cookie is already removed from the system and now we can't read that that's why here I got the system dot null reference exception so these are few basic operations which you can start by working with cookies